we're gonna be taking a look at how easy and fast and simple it is to set up a landing page using the high level or go high level funnel builder and uh, yeah, we're gonna be diving into how easy that is. We're also gonna look at some of the cool new features, some of the things that I love about how they're making things backwards compatible as they're building for the future, as well as the top things that I find that make my life so much more easy. When I'm going in there, I'm editing and I'm going between things and just building out amazing high converting funnels. And so with that, I'm gonna share my screen, hop into the funnel builder here. And so here is sites, funnels area, um, which you would see. So. I'm gonna go ahead, new funnel. The fastest, easiest way to do this is to go to the template library. So there is actually a library, not a lot of people know about this, with vertical or industry specific funnels and you can go through. So depending on if you're doing something for a client or for yourself and you want to see something by industry, you can actually grab, um, they're kind of organized by industry and see things, be it an offer funnel or a sales page funnel or whatever it is. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the agency template side of it. And right off the bat, you see we got a few of here, like a calendar funnel, affiliate funnel, marketing out of funnel. I'm gonna pull this uh, pro layers funnel, just a good looking uh, kind of like maybe maybe a homepage, maybe services, maybe a single, you know, one page website looking funnel. Um, so pretty easy, pretty awesome. And it's all included in there right at the bottom. I'm gonna agree it's a free template. Awesome, sounds good. Click to add it to my account. And we see, you know, timers running. It's pretty, pretty quick, pretty snappy here. And there you go. There is my pro layers funnel off the bat. One thing that's kind of cool, so they did come out with a new version of their funnel builder that leverages a faster CDN for loading times. It even leverages some other cool elements. And so what's awesome is there's this easy little button in the top right of upgrade to version two. So you can upgrade to the latest version of the funnel builder. You can see it's got one step order forms, PayPal integration, Stripe Connect, global products. All the other new stuff is part of uh, this new version of the funnel, which is really nice and handy. And it's super quick and easy to upgrade. So it'll actually migrate old version of the funnel builder to the new version of the funnel builder. And it's not a huge stall as you're going through the process. As you can see, here we are on the new version of the funnel builder, which is awesome. Now on to some of my favorite things that make life easy before I get into the editor and things that are easy and fun about that. So on the outside, cloning a funnel step is that simple. <laughs> I just did clone funnel step in the bottom right. I cloned it in this funnel. You can actually clone it to other locations and other accounts as well, which is nice, but that was pretty fast and easy, right? So now I've got a clone of my funnel layered out here. If I wanted to drag and drop and reorder, pretty simple, pretty easy, very nice. The other fun thing that I love is it's simple. It's little things. I mean, one, you see, we got the AB testing. I can create variations over here. You can create a variation to, you know, set up a split test, however you want to do it on there. But down with this edit, see, it's a little drop down. You actually have the option of editing in the same page, or if you're like me and you're addicted to having a million tabs open, you can actually open it in a new editor. Like you can open the editor in a new tab, which, my team would say is really enabling a bad habit, but that's just how I work, right? So <laughs> I like having a million tabs open. And so this is kind of nice and handy that I can have it in its own tab. And if I want to toggle back and forth between changing the settings and looking at what I've got set up or, you know, changing some publishing details or, you know, the URLs and then going back and forth between the editor, I can totally do that, which makes it really easy and convenient. The other thing I, I don't have a great sample of an example of for you is that there is the ability to see when other people are working inside of the same funnel. So we do have this happen quite often. I remember this is one of those things that, that I personally requested. I went to Sean and said, hey, can you create this for us? Because I've been that person who has accidentally overwritten myself or other people's work because I just didn't even know that we were in here doing the same thing and working on you know this, the, the same funnel at the same time. And so the nice thing now is that all of your users are tracked and so that you can see them when they're in here when they're working on the same funnel or on the outside of the funnel, right? It's called the funnel itself or on the inside of a page, it will actually show you when another person on your account is working in the funnel. So you can make sure they're not overriding each other. And so that makes life really easy. So on to my favorite things that make life easy about the funnel builder. So this was super easy, super fast, super simple and really snappy, which is what I love about it. But also in here, a few things I had to call out. One is versions they actually have version control on the funnel. So as you make changes, one, all of those versions are tracked 
and two, you can actually revert back to an old version. So if you are like me and you accidentally, you know, delete something that you're not supposed to delete or uh, you decide, you know what, that old version was better. I liked it better. There's actually the ability to go back and have version control and version history on your funnels, which is really nice. It really comes in handy. The other thing that I love, and you can see it's actually already set up that way, but when I hover over a section, that's the green element right here, on the left side, there's a little save icon. I can click on save, and you can create what are considered global sections, right? So I can call this, you know, head header for the website. This global section now means that if you make a change to a global section, it will apply to every page. So this comes <laughs> so handy when you're doing headers, when you're doing footers, or even if you've got like common themes that you wanna use in other pages, like, you know, this is a bad example, but let's say you've got a stack in your offer stack or for a sales fund or something like that, and you wanna make sure that that stays consistent or basically you can edit in one place and shows up in all the other places. Global sections are just lifesavers. And so super nice, super easy, makes our workflow so much faster because we don't have to redo what we're doing in all sorts of places. I, I should mention it since, it's, you know, I guess I just saw it. That was the metadata. Like you can actually add in custom metadata or whatever you're doing from an SEO perspective. Very cool, but not necessarily one of my favorite things, although it is very nice. So version control, the global headers, and then this is gonna be a little thing, and, and I guess I might have to find an example to show you how this actually works. But if you're like me and you like to do fancy stuff in here, and so let's say I've got a section and I'm gonna put in like an HTML element, right? So they allow a custom HTML, a custom JavaScript element, or you can post in your custom code. And let's say you like to do custom stuff like that or fun things like that. Let me actually grab uh, an example of this, maybe like a, like a video embed. I've grabbed this custom video embed code. And so if you're pasting in some custom HTML, you're pasting in some custom JavaScript, and you're like, oh, this is great, this is cool, I know that the element's there, and you're always having to toggle back and forth like from a preview or save and view it to actually see it, now you've got this cool little button, which basically when I click that on, it renders any custom HTML in the editor. So now I can see exactly what it's going to look like in, in in the live world and when it's you know published and previewed without having to preview it. So that's really comes in handy if you like to work with custom code, like to put in custom elements in there for JavaScript and HTML, and you wanna see what it's gonna look like inside of the builder. That is a really cool feature that I, I especially appreciate. The last thing that I wanna cover in here well, actually, I got two more things. Two more things that I want to go over. And uh, one of them is the idea of custom fields, custom values. So inside of High Levels Funnel Builder, you can refer to global values. They call them custom fields, custom values, location values. These end up looking like, here's the, the formula for it. I'll show you in this little text block. Something like you could go with, you know, today is an example of one. And by using today, bracket bracket today, or if we go another example like that is bracket bracket location dot name. I can display certain things on the front end that are global to my location. And, and certain things like today are really handy because maybe you wanna have a note on here that like it's, you know, sign up today, but you want it to say today's date or something like that. And so similar to that, you could do, uh, you know, month, and these other kind of values that you can put in here, these are custom values, and they actually show up on the front end of your funnel. So if I save this one, I am gonna need to go into preview mode to actually be able to see these values, but it's really comes in handy for when you're building funnels, especially when you're using it for multiple clients, you wanna set stuff in a way that it's unique to them, unique to their location, unique to their preferences, but you're not reinventing the wheel every single time. We've done this with colors, we've done this with images, logos, and you can absolutely do this with text. And so those custom values really come in handy when it makes it super simple to build funnels in a way that are gonna be, you know, versatile, in the sense that they're pretty much the same, but also unique to the client because they're referring to values that are particular to them. We've actually even seen it. You can do it uh, in, in, they have an S, SVG elements, which is kind of cool too. So you can even have those custom elements from like a color code 
coded into the images with the, using SVGs. Okay, so that's that's kind of cool on that side. I will, you know, open up a preview to show you what I mean by that. We can see it in the real world, right? So. <laughs> The 23rd, that was today. My location name was demo account, and then the month is uh, is February. So that is just another really fun thing. And the last bit, last thing that I think speeds up our workflow when we're building funnels and make it really fast is this little thing over here in the top right, toggling between pages. So if you've got multiple pages in your funnel, and instead of having to go back to the general overview page and then choosing which page you're gonna jump into to edit, you can actually toggle between pages. It's such a simple little thing, but oh my gosh, it makes a world of difference when you are trying to edit funnels, do it fast, do it quickly, and uh, really get in there, make the changes you need to make, and then get on with your life. And so that is the last bit that I've seen unique to uh, High Levels Funnel Builder and absolutely been a game changer for us just being able to make high converting funnels really quickly, get in there, do what we need to do and get out. So there are so many other really cool things about high level and, and even about funnel trying to go deep into all of the features that it has. It's an exhaustive list. And so we actually do have exhaustive training as part of HL Pro Tools. So if you are looking for that, if you're trying to up level your skills, or if you just want to make sure you've got a team supporting your customers who know the tools deeply. I encourage you to take a look at our website and all of our links below, but that is my quick look at how I could set up a funnel on high level incredibly quickly, as well as the top things that I think move the needle and set this funnel builder aside as one that is really just, it's been game changing for our agency and in our workflow. Hope you enjoy and I'll see you on the next one.